Okay, so instead of a big board full of problems, I've got a sheet full of problems. We'll just talk these through, we'll give people some turns, we'll work it out. Uh, we're about a week away from the final and we have a couple days that we can just kind of do whatever. Uh, so this is a worksheet. If there hasn't been snow days and we have time, I go to this at the end of some years. It puts together two things we've done. Uh, so we've done a lot of positive negative stuff lately. Uh, we've done a lot of decimal stuff through the year. But what we've never done is try to do operations with decimals that had positives and negatives to them. So we're going to try to work that out. So the first thing you want to think about for each problem that we're looking at is uh, which, which rule is this? Um, so for number one, think about an ad rule. Uh, which ad rule does number one present to us? What's the positive negative ad rule for that? And, and subtract. So to do number one, uh, whether it's positive or negative would depend on who's bigger. And then we'd want to subtract. If you're subtracting, stack the bigger number on top of the smaller number regardless of the order that the problem gives it to you. So for number one, the 5 is bigger than the 3. So we'd want to make a stack where 0.50 is on top. 0.38 lines up the decimals. Uh, we'd want to depend on who's bigger and we'd subtract. And let's just take a minute and anybody who can do that, tell me how that's going to go if you depend on who's bigger and you subtract. Negative 0.33. Disagree. Uh, it is going to be 0.12. Remember, we need to line the decimals up. So we'd want the 0.5 on top, make it like a 0.50, put a 0.38 underneath it, do a little bit of borrowing there to get that going. We'd want to end up with a positive 0.12. Anybody positive 0.12 want me to rewind? Okay, so two. Let's think about ad rules again. What ad rule was it for two? It is. Two negatives make a negative when we add, and we're going to want to add those together. So keep the decimals lined up. So if we keep the decimals lined up, the two lines up with uh, three. three. The four lines up with the first six. Uh, so we want to line that up. When you're adding, it doesn't matter what order you stack them. Okay? Subtracting, put the bigger number on top. But for adding, stack them however you want to stack them. So somebody stack those up. We want to get a negative. We want to add. Anybody for two? It is negative 0 0.606. Anybody for the add so far question? Okay, three. Think up a different ad rule. So what ad rule is it for three? Yep. Depends on bigger and we'll subtract. So whether it's positive or negative depends on the bigger one. We'll subtract. When you subtract, you have to put the bigger number on the top. So which is the bigger number of these two numbers? The two. The two is the bigger number because that's a whole number. So on top of your stack, put 2.000 so your decimals can line up. But 2.000 is going to stack on top of a 0.345. You'd have to do a little borrowing to get that worked out. Uh, but again, it depends on who's bigger. We're subtracting there. Yeah. That's close. Yeah. Negative point six five. Anybody something close to what he said? Negative one point six five five. Negative one point six five five. It's negative because the negative was the bigger number. One point six five five from the subtract. Question about add like subtract like. Let's think rules first for four. What subtract rule is kicking in for four? Anybody four positive negative situations? Which thing is this? 
It is. This is a negative minus a positive, so we want to get a bigger negative. When I say bigger, I mean I want you to add these numbers together. So if we're adding them together, does it matter how we stack them? No. no. Just stack them however you want. Just keep the decimals lined up. So 2 lines up with 1, 4 with 7. So 2.42, line it up with 1.7, add it up. We want to be getting a bigger negative here off the of number 4. It is negative 4.12. A different voice than who keeps giving us most of these rules for 5. Which rule is 5 from subtract life? numbers for a second, just looking at the negative positive signs, what subtract rule is this? Negative minus positive. No, it's not a negative minus a positive because that first number on number five is a positive. Different ruling on five from anybody? Minus minus makes plus. Minus minus makes plus. So number five in the middle, we have two minuses, turn that into a plus, and just add those up. Uh, line up the decimals as always. Five is going to line up with well. There's two fives, I guess. Actually, the the first five is going to line up with uh, three, two with eight. Somebody add an up one five. It is 9.05. Anybody need help on anything first? Five. <coughs> Six is a positive minus a positive. So how's that go? Positive minus positive. How has that always worked? The first bit is subtract. Uh, we're going to subtract, and it's positive if the first one is bigger. So the question for six is the first number the bigger number? No. So we're still going to subtract those, but when we subtract, put the 2.06 on top. When you build your stacks of numbers for subtracting, the bigger number has to go on top. It doesn't matter whether it's first or second, bigger number goes on top. So 6, when you build your stacks, 2.06 on top, 1.657 under it. Make sure your decimal is lined up. Subtract away. Somebody let me know. Yeah. That's close. It is that, yes. It's negative because it wasn't first number bigger. And then it's a 0 .403 once you get done subtracting. Last one of the subtracts, and then we're about halfway home. For 7, what subtract rule takes over at the beginning of 7? Minus, 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 plus. minus, minus makes plus. So in the middle of that problem, turn those double minuses into a plus. And now we have to shift gears to think add rules. The 37 is negative. The 277 just turned into positive, and we turned it into adding as well. So what's the rule when we're adding them, but they're different? Depends on bigger, and we <laughs> subtract. So when we go to subtract these, does it matter when we subtract who's on top? Yeah, who goes on top? Bigger number. Which is the bigger number, the 37 or the 277? The 37. Because when we look at bigger, we're looking at place values. When the 3 beats the 2, that's bigger. So put 0.37 on top of the stack, put 0.277 under the stack. Keep in mind the 277 is positive now, the 37 has always been negative. It's going to depend on who's bigger, and we're trying to subtract those. It is negative 0 .093, I agree. That's the hardest part of the sheet by far, first seven, I think. Anybody first seven, a question? 
the, the positive negative part of that has always sort of messed with us because sometimes on adding you have to subtract. subtract and sometimes on subtracting you have to add. Life gets easier starting on 8. Uh, 8, 9, 10 is multiplying so no matter what you just multiply. And what's the rules for multiply? Two positives is just yell positive, two negatives, positive, positive one of each, negative. negative. So 8, 9, 10, we're just going to multiply no matter what. Um, why don't we go, why don't you go ahead, uh, why don't you multiply number 8? Why don't you multiply 9? Why don't you uh, multiply 10 over there? Okay. When we get into dividing, we're just going to divide no matter what, but the same positive negative rules apply. Uh, so why don't we go 11 for you, 12 for you, okay. 13 can be yours, uh, 14 for you, 15 for you, 16 for you, and then we ran out of problems, so why don't you, first person who makes a mistake, why don't you jump in and help whoever ends up with an issue on anything 8 to 15, 8 to 16. Uh, if you get done with yours and you're waiting for other people, just do other stuff, just to see if you can do it. Uh, Um, uh, why don't we wait, we'll, let's give everybody like 60 seconds so people can listen to answers. So get yours done and then why don't you just kind of scoop around any other ones just to spend a couple minutes doing stuff while we wait. Why don't we hit a stop on this so if anybody's watching the video they're not watching our wait time. So what do you think for, uh, for eight? Negative 0.4. It is perfect. Yeah, negative 0.4. I was 50-50 wondering if I was going to hear a 0.40 because 8 times 5 is 40. So there is a 40 going to appear in our life. But we want to remove those zeros at the end. So negative 0.4 is spot on perfect. Uh, remember when we multiply, you count what's in the problem. Everything to the right of a decimal is what counts. You position the decimal based on your count. You think for nine. Uh, That's close. Can anybody tune up for us something close to a point one seven five? It is. We want to get a count of four there. The zero, the seven, the two, the five all count. So to get a count of four, we need to squeeze a zero at the very beginning. So positive point zero one seven five is true. Okay. You got a shortcut one. Uh, Negative 9, it is negative 9,500. What was your shortcut there for that one? Um, yep. Yeah, we're just we're going to count the zeros. There's four of them, and just move the decimal to the right. Those four positions. So negative 9,500 is true. Uh, Eight, nine, ten. Multiply zone. Anybody need a little bit more guidance than what we've already given on the multiply zone? Eight, nine, ten. 11, which number goes out of the box, the 76 or the 5? The 5. The second number is going out of the box for the ones that we want to create our division box. And then where's the decimal go for this when we're done? Straight up. We're going decimals straight up and see how that goes. So 11, what do you think? Negative 0.152. It is negative because there's one of each and a 0.152 is perfect. 12 we could shortcut. It's the opposite of 10's shortcut. So count the zeros and just slide the decimal toward the left. Give a shot at 12. Uh, mm, you went the wrong way. Somebody jump in on 12. We want to go left with our decimal. <coughs> It is a positive because they were the same type and then a point zero five seven eight is true. Thirteen a thought? Mm, well, let's get somebody else jump in on thirteen. It is going to be negative one. It's negative because they're different types. It's one, anytime anything divides itself, no matter how big or small it gets, we're going to get one when something divides itself. So that'll play out as negative one. Then things change at 14. What's different about 14 in our process, in our strategy of how to do it? Uh, 
There's a decimal out here as the divisor. So when there's a decimal out here as a divisor, what are we going to have to do with that? Move it to the right. And if we're moving the divisor, we also have to move it in the dividend. So 14 of thought? Negative uh, It is negative, but I disagree with number. Um, 14, somebody else jump in? It'll go negative 220 is true. And you don't need to write the decimal. It's better not to even write the decimal that's at the end of that. 15, you have? It's negative 2.4. I want, is that what you did? Did you just do the wrong one, maybe? Isn't that what you just said for the other one, or no? Okay. Um, 15 is negative 2.4. Uh, 16? Uh, negative 0.022. Is negative 0.022. There will be a worksheet to do for homework that's like this, just longer, it has a little bit more of everything, but it's got a mix, add, subtract, multiply, divide, but with positive negatives involved for the first time. Where, whatever math you're in next year, you'll see some of that, mixing those things together. Anybody question about how to do any of that? Let me shut that down and I'll give out the worksheet. And